Good morning, everybody. So it is, I think it's still morning. Yeah, I think it's still morning. So today's the first day back to school. And I wanted to make a video before we went back to school and it didn't actually work out. So I did get the, the last box of patterns. I'm gonna go through it. We'll see if we can get through the whole box. I'm not sure if we will. It might cut off because I'm not sure if we can get through the whole box. But needless to say, it came late Tuesday night. And I mean, it wasn't super late. It was like 6.30, but like I was, I had already finished the dishes. I was about to get in the shower. I didn't feel like making a video. So I am gonna show you what I got. So remember, this was a pattern haul that I did from Requiem Salvage. I will put all of the information down below. So let's get into what I was sent. Now, remember I told you that I had a feeling that Amy was selling, sending me other stuff and that was true, so she did. Okay, so one of the first things she sent me was, it's very banged up, but it's still, it's still actually useful. It's tracing paper by Singer, by Sears. And this is dressmaker's paper. And I'm wondering, no, it's tracing paper. And Dritz tracing paper. And they're all open and they're all older, but they also have pieces in them. And I will absolutely use this. So there's that. Now. When I got the stuff, I did hang out on the couch for a little bit last night and go through it. And I'm gonna show you the patterns that are gonna go on Etsy because they're uncut, but the rest of the patterns are cut. But let me show you what else she sent me. She also sent me, look, it's a zipper. <laughs> it's okay. I'll put it with my other metal zippers. It is a Talon metal zipper. She sent me these, which I thought were kind of awesome. Never been opened. I'm gonna put these on Etsy together as like a pair. Um, this is weird. This is only one yard of it's only one yard of lace, which I thought was weird, whereas this is two yards of this trim. That's kind of a weird amount, but okay. And then before we get to the patterns, there was also this that was in there. This is really cool. It's from 1954 and it's just basically how to crochet all this stuff. And it was 10 cents in 1954. And then in here is, I believe that these are vintage appliques for tracing. And I gotta get these together because they're kind of cool, but I'm sure that they came in some kind of a, a bag, which is now missing, but it's like, it's all it's chickens and look, this one is like the chalkfish, right? So very cool. I, I knew she was probably doing this. I knew this was probably the reason it was taking a little bit longer was because she was adding stuff to it. So I'm okay with that. All right, very first pattern, uncut pattern, children's. I don't love them. I have so many of them, but you know, somebody might buy it. This pattern, which I hate to tell all you cottage core girls, but it's made for little girls. So it's not going to fit you because I know you're all thinking that, but just to reprieve myself, this was in there. And I was like, you know what? This might pay for the whole box. It is vintage cottage core McCall's and it's a size 16, which was back in those days, a 38 inch chest or no 36. But look at that, right? Yeah, I know, look at that. Woo! And then this little beauty, just a really basic, like kind of 60s dress, but also very cool when you look at it, like it's it's such a basic dress, right? And then, okay, ooh. You know, like I don't have enough creepy doll patterns. Look at this thing. Look at how creepy they are. And here's the line drawings. This is apparently just for the clothes for the creepy dolls, but it's their cold, dead eyes. And then this was in there. I always love seeing these. They make me happy. And this one was by Rona. I don't know who Rona is, but it's the dress, the dress and the jacket. So it's this dress and this jacket. And it is, this is actually a printed pattern, but look at it, completely unused. It's so great when you see this. So, and I've never heard of this company. Designer Pattern. That's it. By who? No name, no nothing. Just the person's address and that it's a designer pattern. Okay, so I'm looking at the counter on my phone. It looks like we have about 10 minutes. So let's see how many of these patterns we can get through in 10 minutes. There were some very good ones. So I think these are still gonna go up on my uh, Etsy page when I can go through them and make sure that they're pretty complete. Okay, so first one. And it's a shame 
when I look at some of these. But I have to say, I did peek at some of them, and a lot of them are in what I call cut mint. So I know that's a weird phrase, but the reason I call some of the stuff I have on my Etsy page cut mint is because if someone was a professional seamstress, what they might do, and I found this in the last lot of patterns, the patterns from the woman who the daughter was selling, clearing out the sewing room, is they would take the pattern, they would cut it with like a really good amount of space next to where the actual cutting line was, right? And then they would trace it, they would iron it up, and they'd fold it back up and they'd put it back into the pattern envelope. And so it was cut, but it almost looks like it wasn't used. It probably was used, they probably traced it. But one of the things that I noticed about this is some of these patterns that I have that are like that. Can you guys see that? That's why it's hard to see. Um, there's not even like pinholes where it was attached to fabric, which makes me wonder, were they actually used? Were they even traced? Because if you're using the tracer that's the perforated tracer, it will perforate the um, pattern. Like I have the one that's a straight line, so it doesn't perforate the pattern when you're tracing with it. Um, you know, so I know, see, I see when I see stuff like this, I'm like, oh, the cottagecore girls would go nuts for this, right? I mean, look at this. I want eight bridesmaids all dressed like that. More kids patterns. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over these being cut, but it does kind of suck. And then cool, cool patterns like this. I also noticed this one had lots of like 16s and 14s, like the old school 16s and 14s. Young contemporary, young contemporary fashion. I love it. Everybody looked like Maud. Um, and so that was kind of a shame that they were all cut up, but oh, we might actually make it, guys. I know I'm going through these fast, but you know. All right, more more cottage core. Wow. See, I know where you guys get it. And this one, I love this, oh, but it's cut. But I'm gonna go through them. So, because I so if you ever look at my Etsy page, which I'm sure some of you do. Um, you will notice that I say mint cut. That's what I mean by mint cut. Like it's cut, it's not factory folded, but it also doesn't look like it was ever used. And a lot of these were like that. Like I think this one actually in my hand was one that I looked at. It feels so, all right, so this isn't exactly mint cut, but look at the condition of that. Look how nice that is. Whoever cut that, did a beautiful job cutting it. And since these patterns are size specific, they weren't patterns that had multiple sizes. When they're in, they're in good shape like that, yeah, you know, I think I can sell them. So some of these will be going up online. I'll have to see if one of these maybe looks like it might be mint cut. Not this one, not this one. Oops, sorry, this was upside down. There we go. There are the line drawings. This is so cool. Look how mod this is. Okay, this one. Oh, I love this one just for the cover. Doesn't it look like a weird spy movie? It's like Austin Powers, the spy who loved me or something, you know? Let me see if this is mid cut. I'm trying to find. No, this isn't either. This is cut. You know, that's the difference between what I call mid cut and what's just cut is when they've really just gone in and removed kind of the excess onion skin of the pattern, that's when I consider it like mint cut. Oh, here we go, very Brady Bunch. This was kind of cute, great cottage core. This was another one that I think is cut, but not bad. Oh, no, that's not mint cut either. I think we are going to make it through all the patterns. We still have enough time. Okay. Okay, so more Barbie, right? Oh, so much Barbie. I'm so tired of Barbie. Gotta tell you. This was so cute. It's such a shame that it's that it's cut. Let me, there it's up there. trying to find something mint cut so I can describe my craziness to you. It's a shame. Look how, look how broke up that got. That's a shame. 
And then there's this for the man in your family. I love it. All the men back in the days look like Ken dolls. This one actually looks factory folded except for a couple pieces, which is another kind of annoying thing. Um, I very often get patterns, one advanced pattern. I thought that was weird. I only just, the only advanced in this whole lot and it's cut. Um, I had a bunch of patterns where they made one thing, you know, like it came with pants and a vest and a skirt and a blouse and they just made the blouse. So the whole rest of the pattern is still factory folded or just nicely folded. And most of the pattern has never been used. That's a tough one to sell because people still want, I mean, here's, here's a perfect example, look at this. I don't know who made what from this, but here's, here's the pieces they're cut, right? They're in great shape. Look how nice, look how nice the lines are. And then here's the rest of the pattern. It's, it's like, it's still folded. It was not cut. So yeah, I gotta deal with that. Um, more cottage core. So much cottage core. Oh, if only they were not they were not cut. I could I could retire on all this cottage core. This was cute, but I like I need another craft pattern like a hole in my head. But at least this was kind of cute. I have some other patterns like this. Okay. I remember these trapeze dresses. Um, back in the day when I wore a lot of vintage you found a lot of trapeze dresses. I don't know if women loved them and then suddenly hated them or what the deal was, but lots and lots of trapeze dresses. This is really cool. This actually has the sweater. Oh, wow. Instructions for knitting the sweater. That's cool. Whoop, the bottom's broken. It's the other, I hate handling these too much because they, they're fragile, you know, but look. Can you see that right there where it says instructions for knitting the sweater? That's really cool, actually. I don't remember patterns like that. Oh, I love this one. It's so it's so crazy. It's the dress, but it's also the babushka and the scarf and look how totally awesome that is. So that was my pattern haul from Miss Amy. I will put all of the relative the relative information, the important information for Requiem Salvage, her company down below. She has both a Facebook page where they do live auctions or you can go to her uh, site. Her site is kind of her more big ticket items. She does quite a bit of um, salvage, actual salvage, like, you know, doorknobs and uh, vintage tile and stuff like that. But hey, if you're interested in that, go check out her site because she's got cool stuff. Then she also on that same site has things like really cool vintage cigar boxes, like if you like that kind of stuff. But her stuff is really cool, so check it out. And until the next video, like, subscribe, comment. I'd love to know what you guys thought of these. Some of these patterns are so cool, and uh, they will end up on Etsy. It's just a matter of time with me because it is, it's involved. You know, I have to go through. I have to legitimately see, you know, how how cut up these patterns are. Are they in really bad shape? Are they in good shape? You know. Um, even when they're not mint cut, the, my, new, my new phrase, I do get patterns that were cut but are in excellent shape even though they've been cut. So those will go up there eventually. Anyway, until the next video, thank you for stopping by. I hope you're having a great day. If your kids in back, are back in school, I hope you're enjoying your quiet time. And until the next video, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you later. Bye.